Hi everybody, Happy New Year. Uh, this is year three for me of building flying Star Wars stuff. And over that time I've been hunting for um, a build platform that's that's really approachable for everybody. You know, a lot of the, the airplanes I build are, you know, either pretty complex builds or they, you know, have some flying quirks that make them less approachable for everybody. And I've been, I've been hunting around for something that's a nice modding platform. And I found that in the Parrot Swing. Um, so this is a product Parrot put out a couple years ago. Um, they're still on shelves right now at, at fairly deep discounts. I, th I think you know Target and a bunch of other retailers have these between sixty and eighty dollars. Um, and it's uh, it hovers like a quad, and then it can transition uh, to forward flight. And you'll notice that uh, it looks like an X-wing. Um, so this is a this is a great modding platform um, to build all sorts of um, sci-fi looking creations around, and it's a really capable little airplane. Um, so it's it's got um, a really nice uh, flight controller on it that does altitude hold, um, position hold with a little camera. It does um, auto takeoff and landing. Um, the transition is all based on. Um, toggles on the back of the controller so um, you know you, you toggle once to, to go forward um, and you can toggle back to go back into hover and so it's a really really clever little modding platform um, and I've used it here to make a few kind of uh, pretty kind of opposite ends of the spectrum of, of flying things so the first is um, this kind of you know Funko Pop inspired uh, little bobblehead X-wing, um, and I the the fuselage is based around a, a set of papercraft plans I found online. I'll put the link in that description below. Um, and then the other one is based off of um, Colin Cantwell's original concept art for the X-wing. Um, so this is kind of a cool dragster um, looking ship, really sleek. Um, and uh, a pretty fun build. So uh, both of these fly really well um, with the stock flight controller that's in the Parrot Swing. Um, I'll show you guys some video of them flying around and then I've got some build pictures um, that I'll talk through kind of some of the different build techniques that are going on here um, and how you can make your own. So um, happy building. Uh, if you guys have any questions about how these things go together, or where to get parts, um, provide comments below and I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. So for the bobblehead X-Wing, I used a set of papercraft plans I found online, uh, which I provided a link in the description below. 
you want to print those out on 11 by 17 format. Um, and then there's a separate file that's the wing stencils that you want to print out in 8.5 by 11. Um, and those wing cutouts um, you can use as a template to cut the, the parrot swing wings. Um, so you trim the leading and the trailing edge with a razor blade. Um, and then you can go and cut out all the rest of the paper parts and start taping them together. I use uh, 3M Magic Tape. It uh, provides a nice surface for when you're gluing the, the parts to each other and it also adds a little bit of strength to the parts. So once you get all your parts assembled, I, I did all the sub-assembly gluing with um, some just low temp hot melt glue. And then uh, to get it to fit onto the, onto the parrot swing body, um, you make two cuts as I've shown in the picture here. Um, once you do that, you have to cut out a square opening in the uh, back of the nose piece. Um, and I went about you know three to four millimeters away from each wall and then the height of the fuselage. And you can test fit this onto the, the wing section and make sure everything goes together. Once all that's done, um, I spray painted everything with just some, um, I think it was Krylon or Rust-Oleum, um, just flat white primer. And when you do this, you wanna be really careful that you mask off um, the sensors on the bottom of the, the center body. So there's a little ultrasonic sensor and there's a camera. You wanna make sure you don't get any paint on that. Um, once all that's done, you can attach the um, wing decals with some spray adhesive and then hot melt glue on um, the little motor pods. And you wanna leave the, the fuselage um, not glued on so that if you need to check the status lights, or you need to um, you know, update the firmware, um, you can. So for the concept art X-Wing, I um, didn't have any plans, obviously, so I just, just went off the original drawings. Um, Colin Cantwell actually has a, a web store where he uh, sells um, some signed prints, and I, I picked up one of those. Um, and so the, the main elements here are, are the nose segment, uh, the canopy, and some of the other little details um, that, that kind of give it that dragster look. And so for the, the nose section, I used um, just some, some plasticine paper, I picked up at Michael's in the um, scrapbooking section um, and kind of cut that out in, in kind of a, a cone gore, um, rolled it on the edge of a table, and then um, you know rolled it up into a cone and then kind of trimmed to trim to shape until I got it to fit over the over the parrot um, center body nice and snug. Um, for the laser cannons, I used some Dunkin' Donuts coffee stirrers um, with some. Um, little discs of uh, ABS sheet plastic that I cut out with a hole punch and just glued those on there. Um, there are a couple of formed elements on here and I, I did these in two different ways. Um, the, the first was the nose section. Um, I uh, bought some, some thin ABS sheet, uh, made a little um, you know, rectangle out of, of some basswood sticks so that I could hold the sheet um, you heat it up with a heat gun and then you can do kind of a plunge forming. Um, so you get the, the part nice and hot with the heat gun so the, the ABS is, is really soft and then you can push a form through it. It's almost like vacuum forming but without kind of all the complexities of the vacuum. Um, and for the form I just used a, a nose cone off of an old Estes rocket and this made a, a nice um, well formed point that I could attach onto the end of the cone. Um, for the canopy, um, since it needed to be at a, a clear plastic, um, and I, I didn't have a canopy form readily available. I shaped one out of um, some styrofoam, so just with a razor and some sandpaper, made it to the, the rough canopy shape. And then um, one of the techniques I learned a long time ago um, to make really cheap um, clear plastic parts um, without any special tooling is uh, if you go and find some very large clear heat shrink, um, and you stretch it around um, the thing that you want to, to mold, uh, and then you just heat it up with a heat gun. Um, and it'll suck down around the part and uh, leave you with a nice uh, clear plastic piece um, without you know having to do vac former or anything like that. Um, and so once I got the plastic parts formed, I uh, went into my uh, plastic model stash and found um, a couple little um, X-Wing pilots from an old Bandai kit, painted those guys up, made a little canopy frame and put it all together. Um, and so uh, without, without any special tools um, and really kind of, you know, without a ton of work, 
um, I put together a nice little uh, canopy section and nose section to, to really finish out the X-Wing. So I hope you guys have um, find these pictures helpful. If there's any other details you um, want to ask questions about, feel free to, to leave those questions in the comments. I'll try to answer them best I can. And if there's something I, I can't answer, I'll go and take a picture of it so that it makes more sense for you. Um, so I, I hope this is an inspiration for you guys to, to try this out. Um, the Parrot Swing is a great platform to do some of this kit bashing on. Um, and I look forward to seeing all the X-Wings you put together.